Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the absolute best way to complete the KO Perico heist after the most recent nerf. This method I'm going to be guiding you through will guarantee that your loot during the heist is always going to be good when playing as a solo player. I'll also be showing you a really good valuable trick to make sure you always get the best secondary target loot every time because as you know with the recent nerf, secondary target loot is hard to come by. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it for me, but without wasting any more time, let's go. Starting things off, of course, the first thing you need to do is enter your Kosatka and then walk up to your highest planning board. Once you walk up to your highest planning board, now click right D-pad and pay the $100,000 that it costs to start up this setup. And once you start up that setup, the first thing you need to do is of course do your gather intel mission. And as you all know, when you're usually doing the gather intel mission, you would normally scope out your secondary targets only here at the airstrip. Well, after the recent nerf, the airstrip is no longer a place you want to go to. The new location you want to go scope out your secondary target loot at is going to be right here at the north dock. The reason you want to scope out your secondary targets at the North Dock and the North Dock only is because over here you can actually get 7 potential loot spawns, over at the airstrip you could only get 6 potential loot spawns. And for some reason when Rockstar did the nerf to the KO Perico heist, when you're getting secondary target loot over at the airstrip, for some reason all the loot over there is the worst possible loot, like almost all the time you're going to get either the green stuff or cash. But as you all know, the best secondary target loot is the white stuff and this location over here at the North Dock is 100% going to get you the white stuff every single time for your secondary target loot. So just make sure you memorize these three locations. Here is the first building where two potential loot spawns can spawn in and then here is the second building where also two potential loot spawns can spawn in and here is the third and final building where loot can spawn in but here in this building three potential loot spawns can spawn in. And this building is also the highest likely for you to find the white stuff in. And don't worry, I know what you're thinking, this can only be opened by two players. Don't worry, later on in the video I'll show you a trick to open this gate completely by yourself as a solo player and you can still get the secondary target loot. So just make sure when you're doing your gather intel that you go to all three of those buildings and take a picture of all of the loot inside of all of those buildings. After you photograph all of your secondary target loot at the north dock, now what you need to do is go over to the communication towers, hack inside of it, and now you need to see what is inside of the basement. So what is your primary target loot? Now the only other security cameras you need to search are the office camera and then the west storage because sometimes inside the west storage are gold bars and I actually know a trick to get these gold bars even while doing the heist as a solo player which I'll also be showing you later on. Anyways, now we are done doing the gather intel, now make your way off the island. So now that we gathered all of the intel on the Kao Perico island, there's nothing left to do except do the setups to complete the Kao Perico heist. And nothing has changed with doing these setups, I'm sure you all have done these hundreds of times before, so I don't think there's any point in me going over them today. Plus, I've already made a video showing you the best way to finish all of the KO Perico High setups, so if you are someone who would like to see that video, then click the right corner of your screen right now to see that video. Alright, now once you have completed all of your setups, we are now ready to do the finale. So for the finale, for the settings, you want to make sure you put your approach vehicle set to the long fin, just as we always have before. Now go to infiltration point, and this time set it to the north dock, because that's where we're going Going to be getting our secondary target loot. Now go down to compound entry point, set that to drainage tunnel, then go down to escape point, and then set that to the main dock. And then now go down to where it says time of day, of course set that to daytime, then go down to where it says weapon loadout, and then make sure you put suppressors on your weapon. Once you have all of your settings exactly how mine are, now you can simply start up the KO Perico heist and now we are ready to start up the KO Perico heist and complete the finale. So the very first step that you need to do for the KO Perico heist is drive the long fin over to the north dock area. As you can see, the north dock is going to be over there to my right. So simply drive this long fin all the way over to the north dock and park it exactly how I did right here. Once you parked it here, now get off the boat and now you want to go over here to the left side of the building. Once you're on this side of the building, now wait until the security guard comes by, and once he comes by, simply take him out. So once you take out the guard, now go over here to the right side of the building, all the way around until you see this lever right here. Once you see this lever, now all you need to do is click right d-pad to pull the lever down, and now the actual loot area should open up. And for some reason this location is glitched out because normally you would have to have a friend do what I just did and then he would have to hold that lever until you actually entered inside of that area where the loot was. But for some reason it is glitched and it will literally just stay open as long as you pull down the lever. And I don't know if you noticed but during my gather intel the west storage had no gold bars inside of there so if your west storage doesn't have any gold bars I recommend filling up your loot bag completely full of secondary target loot. And as you can see that is exactly what I'm doing right now luckily in this building was both of the 
white stuff piles and two piles will actually fill up your loot bag 100%. And if your loot wasn't in that building that I was just in, you can easily go over to the building that your loot was in and then loot it because those other two buildings are really easy to get inside of. So once you fill up your loot bag 100% full, as long as you didn't have any gold bars inside of the main compound, now what you need to do is head back over to your long fin boat and then drive this over to El Rubio's compound entrance. And you should be able to get there really fast, the long fin is a really fast boat. Anyway, once you jump off of your long fin and you go over here to the gate that you need to cut open, now what you need to do is get your cutting torch and then cut through the gate. Once you successfully cut through the entire gate, now what you need to do is swim through this entire tunnel until you make it to the very end where you have to click right d-pad to confirm you going up the actual drainage tunnel. Once you go up the drainage tunnel, you will now be inside of El Rubio's compound. From here, walk up these stairs, then jump over this fence, go all the way down this hallway, and then take a left right here at the end of the hallway. Now once you take a left, go straight through here, take a right right here, and then hop over this fence once again. Now what you need to do is wait right here at the bottom of these stairs until that security guard is walking away. Once he's walking away like that, now what you need to do is walk up these stairs and then these second set of stairs. As you can tell, we are doing this completely stealthy, but from here, just keep following where I'm going up these two flights of stairs once again, and then once you're at this wall, now what what you need to do is lean up against the wall just like I'm doing here. Now just wait for the guard to walk all the way down and once he walks all the way down now all you need to do is simply walk past him and then up these two flights of stairs into El Rubio's main office. Once you're in his office come up to this vault here click right d-pad to open the vault and then take the money inside this vault. Once you take the money in the vault now come over here to this fingerprint cloner and we need to do the fingerprint cloner hack which is a really easy hack to do. Just like that I just matched all of the fingerprints successfully and once you successfully hack the fingerprint cloner now what you need to do is enter inside of the elevator and go down to where your primary target is at. Now your primary target is going to be different almost every single time you do this heist and right now I have the bearer bonds which for this one I have to actually go on my phone, go to my text, get the actual code that Pavel sent me and then put that code inside of the safe. If your primary target is in the glass case, that's actually easier. All you need to do is walk up to the glass case, click right d-pad and then burn through the glass until you get your primary target. Anyway, once you get your primary target, now what you need to do is go back over to the elevator and make your way out of here. Once you get your primary target, now make your way out of the compound, but before we leave the compound, let me show you how to get the gold bars out of the west storage in case you did have gold bars inside of there. What you need to do is come up to this part right here where I'm at right now, go in first person, and then walk up to the railing and jump over it. Once you jump over, it's really important to make sure you hold up on your left joystick, that way you land on your face like I did. Once you land on your face and you get back up, now make sure you do not run, but walk up to this part here and walk on top of this bush. Once you're on top of the bush, now angle yourself exactly how my character is here. So now jump up the railing and as soon as you're going up the railing, you want to hold down on your left joystick. That way you turn 180 degrees until you turn towards the building. Once you're looking towards the building, now let go of all of your controls and you now should be glitched inside of the building. From here, just walk forward and just like that, you now have glitched inside of the west storage. Make sure when you were doing that trick though that you're very careful for the incoming guards. Usually it's really fast to do though, you should get it on your first try. Anyway, yeah, from here all you need to do is walk up to the gold bar piles and simply pick up all of the gold that you can possibly pick up. So once you pick up all of your gold bars if you needed to, you can actually leave the compound right after. And if you didn't have any gold bars in the west storage and you were somebody who got the secondary target loot, all you need to do is simply get your primary target loot and then get out of there. You don't have to worry about the gold bars. And that footage that I was showing you for the gold bars is actually old footage of a time that I did the gold bar glitch. I'm only saying that because when I was doing my gather intel there was no gold bars inside the west storage so I know some people might have been confused. Anyway from there once you got your primary target loot and your gold bars if you needed to now what you need to do is exit the actual compound. Once you exit the compound now what you need to do is come over to this security guard here take him out and then get on his motorcycle and now what you need to do is take this motorcycle and take the exact route that I'm going right here all the way through here up this hill all the way up this hill and then off of the hill into the ocean. Once you land in this part of the ocean now what you need to do is swim straight forward until you swim over a pile of whale bones. Once you swim over the whale bones that's how you know the heist is going to end and put you through the cutscene. And yeah, just like that, we have now completed the KO Perico heist as a solo player while also getting the gold bars and also getting the best possible secondary target loot with the method that I showed you. As you can see, here is exactly how much money I got for passing the heist. As you can see, I got platinum. Of course, you already know my potential take was $4.1 million, but I did not get anywhere near that. I actually got $1.1 million. And if you're wondering if I got the elite challenge, yes, I did get the elite challenge. And completing the elite challenge put me at $1.15 million after completing the Keo Perico heist as a solo player, which if you ask me is pretty good. And since you are here watching at the very end, you now know the best possible way to complete the Keo Perico heist as a solo player while also getting the gold bars and also getting the best possible secondary target loot even after the nerf. 
If you enjoyed the video and you still haven't already, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me and I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.